Hello viewers, welcome to my channel PMCE. In this video, we are going to do word problems in multiplication in class 4. We know that multiplication is one of the mathematical operations or numbers. The first sum that we are going to do is, in a school, during the tree saplings planting program, 1545 children planted 7 saplings each. How many saplings did they plant in all? The first step is to write down the statements. Number of school children who participated in the tree saplings planting program is equal to 1545. Number of saplings planted by each of them is equal to 7. What do we have to find? Total number of saplings planted by the children. So here the information that we have is each child plants 7 saplings. We have to find what is the total number of saplings planted by 1545 children. What do you have to do for that? We have to multiply 1545 by 7. So this is a 4 digit by single digit multiplication. I have dealt with the concept of 4 digit by single digit multiplication in a separate video where I have given ample examples for you to understand how to do this type of a multiplication. Link to that video is given below in the description box. You may refer it. Now, you have to write down the 4 digit number with its place values and multiply it by 7 which is a single digit number and it should be written in the 1's place. Now, begin multiplication from the 1's place. 7 into 5 is 35. 5 carry over 3. Next, 7 into 4 is 28. 28 plus 3 is 31. 1 carry over 3. Next, 7 into 5 is 35. 35 plus 3 is 38. 8 carry over 3. 7 into 1 is 7. 7 plus 3 is 10. 0 and 1 will move to the 10,000's place. So what is the answer now? 10,815. They can write down the answer. Therefore, the children planted 10,815 samplings in all. Let us do the next sum now. The cost of a class 4 maths textbook is Rs. 232. What is the cost of 23 such maths textbooks? Let us take and write down the statements first. Cost of a class 4 max textbook is equal to rupees 232. We have to find out cost of 23 such max textbooks. What do we have to do? One max textbook is rupees 232. So 23 max textbooks will be 23 into 232. This concept comes under money multiplication and here it does not involve any decimals or the paise part. You would have done this kind of a multiplication in your class 3. I have dealt with that topic in a separate video. Link to that video of class 3 money multiplication without decimal is given below the description box. You may revisit that for a quick revision of the concept of money multiplication. Now, whenever you do a money multiplication, the money should always be written first followed by the multiplier which should be written in the vertically downwards direction. So now 232 is the money and 23 is the multiplier so you write it vertically down below it. Now begin the multiplication from the ones place. 3 into 2 is 6. 3 into 3 is 9. 3 into 2 is 6. Next we will have to put a 0 in the ones place because the next step is to Multiply 232 by 20. 2 is in the tens place. So, we'll have to add a 0 in the ones place now. 2 into 2 is 4. 2 into 3 is 6. 2 into 2 is 4 which will move to the thousands place now. The next step is to add these two products. 6 plus 0 is 6. 9 plus 4 is 13. 3 carry over 1. 1 plus 6 is 7. 7 plus 6 is 13. 3 carry over 1. 1 plus 4 is 5. So, what is the product you get? 5,336. 
So therefore, the cost of 23 max textbooks is rupees 5,336. Do you find them interesting? Stay with me till the end of this video because we are going to cover many more concepts in class 4 word problems multiplication. In a wholesale fruit shop, there are 345 boxes with 115 mangoes in each of them. How many mangoes are there in all? Let us take and write down the statements first. Number of boxes in the wholesale fruit shop is equal to 345. Number of mangoes in each of the box is equal to 115. What do we have to find now? Total number of mangoes in all. How do you do that? We know that in each box there are 115 mangoes. We have to find out number of mangoes in 345 boxes. So what do we have to do? 345 multiplied by 115. This is a 3 digit by 3 digit multiplication. To do many sums in the concept of 3 digit by 3 digit multiplication, you may visit my video in which I have covered several examples. Link to that video of 3 digit by 3 digit multiplication is given below in the description box. Now write down the 3 digit number 345 with its place values and write down 115 just below it vertically down. Begin multiplication from the ones place. 5 into 5 is 25. 5 carry over 2. 5 fours are 20. 20 plus 2 is 22. 2 carry over 2. 5 into 3 is 15. 15 plus 2 is 17. 7 and 1 will move to the next place value, thousands place. Now we are going to multiply 345 by 10. First you did multiplication of 345 by 5 which is there in the ones place. Next we are going to multiply 345 by 10 because 1 is in the tens place. So we will have to add a 0 in the ones place and begin multiplication by 1 now. 1 into 5 is 5. 1 into 4 is 4. 1 into 3 is 3. Next step is to multiply 345 by 100 because the next one is in the hundreds place. So we will have to add a 0 in the ones place. Add the 0 in the tens place. Now begin multiplication by 1. 1 into 5 is 5. 1 into 4 is 4. 1 into 3 is 3. And this will move to the next place value, 10 thousands place. The next step is to add all these three products. 5 plus 0 plus 0 will give you 5. 2 plus 5 is 7. 7 plus 0 is 7. 7 plus 4 is 11. 11 plus 5 is 16, 6 carry over 1. 1 plus 1 is 2, 2 plus 3 is 5, 5 plus 4 is 9. And in the 10,000 space, take and write down the number 3. So what is the answer you get? 39,675. So this is the total number of mangoes. Therefore, there are 39,675 mangoes in all. Let us do the next word problem now. In a book, there are 125 pages. How many pages do 200 such books have? This is also a 3 digit by 3 digit multiplication, but there is something interesting we can do in this sum. Let us see that now. Number of pages in the book is equal to 125. What do we have to find? Number of pages in 200 such books. So what do we have to do? 200 multiplied by 125. This type of multiplication comes under the concept of multiplying a number by 200, 300, so on up to 2000, 3000, etc. This is a separate concept. I have dealt with this in a separate video. Link to that video is given below in the description box. I have given a link to the playlist containing all the videos for class 4 multiplication in the iCard section. You may also click on that. For this type of multiplication, what do we have to do is first multiply the numbers and append them with the zeros. So here 125 into 2, we know 125 into 2 is 250. We just have to add the remaining two zeros over there and you get the answer to be 25,000. See how simple the calculation is? Now we just have to take and write down the answer. Therefore, 200 books have 25,000 pages. Hope you found the topic interesting. 
Let us go on to do the next sum now. In a book exhibition, there were 254 book stalls. Each stall had 305 books. How many books were there in all? Let us take and write down the statements first. Number of book stalls in the exhibition is equal to 254. Number of books in each stall is equal to 305. What do we have to find? Total number of books. So here we know that each book stall is having 305 books. We will have to find out how many books are there in 254 stalls. So what do we have to do for that? Multiply 254 by 305. This is it again a 3 digit by 3 digit multiplication. Just that there is a variation we have a 0 in the number by which you are going to multiply. This is a very interesting concept and let me tell you what you will do now. Write down 254 and 305 below it. First, begin multiplication from the 1's place. 5 into 4 is 20. 0 carry over 2. 5 5 is 25. 25 plus 2 is 27. 7 carry over 2. 5 2's are 10. 10 plus 2 is 12. 2 and the 1 will move to the thousands place. So in the first step you multiply 254 by 5 which is the, the ones place. In the tens place you have a 0. Whenever you have a 0 you can just totally skip the multiplication by that step and move on to the next number. You had a 0 in the tens place in this case. Supposing you have a 0 in the ones place you will not do the step of multiplication by ones place. This is a separate concept and I have dealt with this concept of having zeros in the numbers by which you multiply and link to that video is also given below in the description box. Okay, let us now move on to multiplying by 254 by 300 directly because 3 is in the hundreds place. Before you do that, you will have to add a zero in the ones place, another zero in the tens place now multiply by 3. 3 into 4 is 12. 2 carry over 1. 3 into 5 is 15. 15 plus 1 is 16. 6 carry over 1. 3 into 2 is 6. 6 plus 1 is 7. Now 7 is moved to the 10 thousands place. The next step is to add these two products. 0 plus 0 is 0. 7 plus 0 is 7. 2 plus 2 is 4. 1 plus 6 is 7 and 7 in the 10 thousands place you take and write it down just like that. And the answer that you get is 77,470. What is this? This is the total number of books. Therefore, there were 77,470 books in all. Let us go on to do the next type of sum here. There are 85 rows of coconut trees with 25 trees in each row. Approximately, how many coconut trees are there? Underline the word approximately here and I am going to tell you how we are going to do that. Take and write down the statements now. Number of rows of coconut trees is equal to 85. Number of trees in each row is equal to 25. What do we have to do? Approximate number of coconut trees will be, we know that, Number of trees in each row is 25. So number of trees in 85 rows will be 85 into 25. But here we see the word approximately. So we are not going to multiply directly. We are going to find out the estimated product. Product estimation or estimating products is a separate topic. And it is very interesting and I have dealt with this topic in a separate video. Link to that video of estimating products is also given below in the description box. Now, what are we going to do? First, in estimating products means we will always round it off to the nearest tens or nearest hundreds. In this case, we are going to round it off to the nearest ten. 85 can be rounded off to 80 and 25 can be rounded off to 30. Did you notice one thing? Whenever a number has crossed the mid value, that is the 5, we round it up to the higher number. But here in this case, both the digits, that is 85 and 25, are in the mid value. In such cases, you round down one number and round up another number to get the correct approximate value. 
So that is the reason I have rounded down 85 to the nearest number 80 and rounded up 25 to the nearest tens 30. So now we will have to multiply 80 by 30. So here in the ones place we have a 0. So you directly move to the tens place 30. So what happens? You will have to add a 0 in the ones place. Then 3 into 0 is 0. 3 into 8 is 24. So you get the estimated product to be 2400. So this will be our answer. Approximate number of coconut trees will be 2400. But just let us just verify if our estimation is correct. For that I am going to do finding of the actual product. 85 into 25. 5 into 5 is 25. 5 carry over 2. 5 eighths are 40 plus 2 42. Next you are going to multiply 85 by 20. So add a 0 in the ones place. 2 into 5 is 10. 0 carry over 1. 2 into 8 is 16. 16 plus 1 is 17. Now we'll have to add these two products. 5 plus 0 is 5. 2 plus 0 is 2. 4 plus 7 is 11. 1 carry over 1. 1 plus 1 is 2. So you get the answer to be 2125. And our estimated product is 2400. So our approximation is correct. So let us take and write down the answer. Approximate number of coconut trees is equal to 2400. Let us do the next sum. 1 kg of potatoes costs rupees 140.75. That is 140 rupees and 75 paise. Find the cost of 5 kg of potatoes. Take and write down the statements. Cost of 1 kg of potatoes is rupees 140.75. Cost of 5 kg of potatoes will be 5 into 140.75. So, as usual in money multiplication, take and write down the money first followed by the multiplier. To do more sums on money multiplication with decimal values, please refer to my video of class 4 multiplication with decimals. The link to that video is given below in the description box and link to the playlist for class 4 multiplication is also given in the i card section. Now, begin multiplication from the ones place. 5 into 5 is 25. 5 carry over 2. 5 sevens are 35. 35 plus 2 is 37. So 7 and 3 should be carried over. Before that you will have to place the decimal value and 3 is carried over. 5 into 0 is 0. 0 plus 3 is 3. 5 fours are 20. 0 carry over 2. 5 ones are 5. 5 plus 2 is 7. So the answer is 703.75. So take and write down the answer now. Therefore the cost of 5 kg of potatoes is Rupees 703.75. Dear viewers, these are all the learning outcome in class 4 under the topic multiplication, of which I have covered the topics properties of multiplication, multiplying by 10, 100, and 1000, then multiplying by 200, 300, and up to 2000, 3000. Next, we did multiplying a four digit number by single digit number, multiplying a three digit by two digit number, and three digit by three digit number. Then we did estimating products. Then we saw multiplication of money and in this video we saw story sums applying multiplication. In the next and last video for class 4 multiplication we will be doing mental math concepts and multiplication worksheet covering all the topics that the children have learned so far in class 4 multiplication. I have dealt with each of these topics in separate videos and as I told you link to all the related videos are given below in the description box. You may click on those videos to directly access them. Thank you for watching my video. See you in the next video with the next topic in multiplication. You may also click on the in-screen video which will contain the playlist for class 4 multiplication. If you like the video, give a thumbs up and do share it with your friends. And do not forget to subscribe to my channel and click on the bell button for regular notifications of all the new videos that I make in my channel. See you again.